Greetings and welcome. Welcome to Cell Guru. And today we're back in debate land. A very interesting debate. Everybody keeps asking, when's the next big thing happening in the world of mobiles? We've gone through so much, but nothing has really changed from the very beginning. There have been add-ons, there have been implementations, but the next big thing has always been called location-based services. It's been the promised land. It's never delivered. But apparently, as per the panel that's here, they're all saying it's here and it's now. Let's find out if this is really true. With me, Mr. Raghunath Mandava, Chief Marketing Officer for Bharti Airtel Limited. Welcome. Also with me is Mr. Yugesh Bijlani, who's the Country Head for Telenity. Hello. And Mr. Vinay Goel, Country Head Products for Google. So welcome, gentlemen. I'll start with you. Uh, an operator. Uh, predominantly, I know, I know there are many other ways of looking at it, but predominantly you don't touch anything unless there's money to be made out of it. Uh, how is this going to be worked out in terms of location-based services translating to uh, a mass market audience for you and therefore translating into good business? What does location-based services do? As a mobile operator, we provide a large number of services, right. whether it is jobs and classifieds information, for rural customers about uh, weather and other information. Mm -hmm. What location-based service does is to bring this entire area of relevance, of greater relevance to these solutions. Okay. For example, if a farmer were to ask you what's the price of the wheat that he is selling, you could tell him the Monday price of the location he is in. Uh, let's find out from here. A company that is now betting almost all its horses on something <coughs> which is location-based, you've come up with something which can work on any mobile. So I think that's the differentiator that we're impressed with. Uh, take us through what exactly is achievable. Give us two or three examples of what you mean by location-based services. Because like I said right in the beginning of the show, promised land, we've been told many things. This will happen when you go here, you will arrive here and that will happen. A lot of that magic hasn't happened. Is there finally the rabbit out of the hat? Absolutely. I think if you look at it from a service perspective, if you have 500 million people in India who've got a mobile, mm -hmm. and even if it's a $20, $10 handset, if I could dial a number, say a star 321, star 88 hash, as Airtel has launched the service of Buddy Can Panda. I just interrupt you here and you know use my uh, most favorite problem with what you're, you're just saying? Why such complicated numbers? Can't it be more intuitive? Something that we all sit down and work out saying, I don't have to remember uh, almost, I mean, I need to be a rocket scientist to work these out first and then to remember them, then I may have to save them in my contact. Why is it so difficult? So many services, even from you, as thing, I'm not aware of them because it's really difficult for me to remember all the ways to get to it. And once again, what you said was like, uh, you know, I would love to have that as maybe my password on an email. Nobody will ever be able to crack it. How do you remember all these things? And why is it so complicated? Right. I think the first thing is the operator can choose any code. So, you know, star one, two, three hash is not very complicated. Right. And one of the reasons why people are very familiar with it, because 95% of India is prepaid. Mm -hmm. And take an Airtel customer, if he wants to know how much is the balance yeah. that he has mm -hmm. or what is the last call uh, duration that he went through, he dials star one to one hash. That's the customer care right. number. So I think, you know, you could choose any number. But the reason for picking up a USST string that I gave you a demo is because 95% of India uses these strings to get to know how much money they have. And the advantage of why location is so exciting today mm -hmm. is by dialing a string like this, you are aware of the location of any mobile in the country to a 300 meter level of accuracy. Mm -hmm. Now start thinking of applications that Rajiv Markney has a mobile and his wife wants to know where's Rajiv. So she does start that's three a, to one right now. That's a scary prospect, actually. <laughs> I don't know whether that's good or bad. Chuba.com.